Hi, Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. So book a personal reading with me. All information is in the description box below. And today is the 19th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 10.01 a.m. So that is your angel number 1001. Check it out if you want to. Just Google it. There could be some other important messages for you over there. Now, please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were to find guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius what's coming up for them within 24 hours. There are a lot of details in this reading that may or may not resonate with you from the beginning till the end. So please bear that in mind. And I'm also a little bit sick. So as you can hear from my voice, so please bear with me. Okay, I'm going to go slow in this reading. Got the Empress in World first, Nine of Pentacles and Lovers, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Star. I like that the Star is here and the Ace of Wands. It's going to feel really good, okay, within 24 hours. You're going to feel renewed, refreshed, uh, feel much more inspired to do things, even though things have been difficult, yeah, five pentacles or challenging. And we've got the five of wands here as well. So it could indicate challenges, battles, um, anything that you've been battling lately could be related to your career or health or love. I see you feeling much better about it, but Five Pentacles, it's not completely over yet. Yeah, there's still a little bit of a lingering, how do you say, challenge. Something that's still lingering, but at least within 24 hours, you're going to feel much more inspired to carry on uh, with whatever you've been fighting for all this while. Empress in reverse, five swords in reverse. And also, we're definitely saying to not, to not be a part of any drama, gossips within 24 hours. Because the, the star is alone, while the five of wands have a few people here. And what the ace of wands is alone, now Pentacles is also alone. Because it feels like it could go this way or this way. So if you get get yourself involved in an argument or drama you know five pentacles it might affect you not in a good way but if you separate yourself from this equation it will do you way 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 better okay and we've got the knight of pentacles here well first lack of motive for some of you if you feel like lack of motivation to achieve certain dreams that you want to achieve in your life um I think within 24 hours, you're going to feel more motivated, yeah? And what I'm seeing here, you see, the star is like looking up in the sky and it's unreachable, right? Because the star is so far up. Um, maybe you feel demotivated because you think this is unattainable. There's something that you want to attain, but you feel it's unattainable. And it's basically advising you that maybe if you were to not to say copy because you know ace of wands indicates inspiration as well desire drive passion if you have enough passion and drive and i think you can achieve this with the star here but also it's like watching what other people do it's like that's why people always say oh let's look up uh let's watch the stars in the sky you can just watch right so something about you needing to watch what other people have been doing and they are already successful in that area that you could be aspiring to be like them. So something about being in inspired by some people who have already been there, done that, and have done that successfully. So this is a little bit of an advice here that I'm seeing because see nine of pentacles right next to the knight of pentacles this is why i feel like this could just be 
you needing to look up to a certain person be inspired by a certain person who is already successful and what you want to achieve in your life okay it could be anything um, again it could be your health your well-being money career fame sometimes the star can get fame so looking up to someone who is famous or um, getting some inspiration from them basically you know copying a little bit but you know make it yours that's what i'm seeing here and the empress again in my first favel ones yeah especially if things have been stagnant and you feel like wherever you're at right now is not growing mm -hmm. even though you've been fighting it you've been fighting to grow you've been fighting to get to the star but it's it's not fruitful so this is this is an indication of you know maybe your strategy and your plan doesn't work hasn't worked and it's time to switch change your plan change your strategy time to ditch it ace of cups here ml first yeah let's see more But now Pentacles, right next to Knight of Pentacles, you know, is going to get uh, an, an, an improvement in your finances. But then Five Pentacles, hmm. I still feel like this is someone you need to kind of look up to and maybe gain some advice. It could be someone that you know physically, or it could be someone that you watch. It could be on YouTube channels or anything, okay? Like a guru. <laughs> Feels like a guru. <laughs> Some of you, it's advice, love advice, right? And then we've got six of swords in love first, eight of swords in love first, and the devil in love first. Yeah. It's time to get yourself unstuck with things that don't serve your highest good anymore. Ideas that don't serve your highest good anymore. The same routine, the same thing that you've been practicing that don't serve your highest good anymore. I see you releasing it or this could be spirit's way of saying to release this because you fought hard enough and if it's not working after a period of time, you know, perhaps it's time again to change course, to change your course of action, to release yourself from that, you know, eight of swords and lovers, release yourself with the same kind of mentality, release yourself from a certain hope that is not coming true so I wish that's not coming true maybe whatever you've been doing all this while that you've been trying to achieve the star status here whatever you've been wishing for it just doesn't work anymore okay it doesn't work it, it feels like it doesn't work it feels like it's time to like switch time to switch your plan time to switch your strategy so maybe maybe this is what you're doing right now right and you feel inspired with Ace of Wands to change, make certain changes so that you can achieve the Nine of Pentacles. Because right now with the Five of Pentacles, it's too hard, too challenging. It's like a hamster running in a, um, running on a wheel, going over and over and over again with no literal place to go. There's no destination. There's no success that you can see from it there's no growth from it hmm, let's see more seven of swords time to act smart <laughs> to be smart and then we've got they're not saying that you're not smart but a different strategy that could be a much more smarter a much smarter or much more efficient strategy or plan we've got the temperance here can indicate patience. Patience is virtue within 24 hours. Queen of Swords here is in love first. Another thing I'm seeing here is that specifically saying to not tell other people your plans, okay? Do it very quietly. Do it very, very quietly because sometimes five of wands can indicate competition. The devil can indicate jealousy. So, But for some of you, if you're already up there, right? The Star and the Nine of Pentacles, if you're already there, um... Spirits could be saying someone might say something um, or someone might just get jealous of you, okay? And watch out for your competition, for your competitors. Mm -hmm. 
something about if your competitor is doing something, you have to keep keep tabs on them as well, right? You always have to know what your competitors are doing, so you you can level up. That's what I'm seeing here. All right, Leo Aries, Sag, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information. It's in the description box below and feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. For those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos or every time when I uh, go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Alright, take care. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.